Hi, uh, I'm Hans van die Bovenkamp. I'm from the Netherlands, uh, where I was born and where I studied architecture. I always wanted to do things that enhanced architecture rather than just the functionality of a building. I always felt that um, if, if you look at early architecture of the Greeks and the Romans or in Europe, very often um, architecture is enhanced by facade decoration or an entryway in the form of art. So I think of a building, for example, there's a building here, and John Henry put a very large sculpture outside, and uh, he's a colleague and friend of mine. And so that is also a landmark. In my sculpture too, I do many large sculptures. I've done maybe over a hundred large sculptures. The good thing of having studied architecture, architecture really deals with several elements that have to come together to be successful. So um, with my sculptures, when I've put them by buildings, they have always helped the rental. The reason, then, then I, I've always do series. Then I did a whole series of portals or gateways. And a portal, like for example, like this piece here, this is um, up and over, and this is an, a recent sculpture. It is a series I've called um, Men Here. And men here, M-E-N-H-I-R, if you look it up in a dictionary, it says standing stone. And so these shapes are like stones, but, but because of the welding technique, I can weld them together. Also, there's an arch. So structurally, an arch is very strong because it kind of is all leans into each other. So this side leans into this side. And these colors are not painted, these are patinas, so they're basically chemicals that have been applied by heat. I, I'm, I'm very fond of this piece because it also works as a gate. Gateways and portals are very important because a portal is a little small, but you first stand in front of the portal and you're in your present state of mind. Once you enter the portal, Right in this plane, a transformation takes place. You almost feel it. You know, it's like entering a doorway. You, from the outside, you go to the inside. So there's a transformation in that moment. When you're on the other side, I hope to achieve that people go from the physical into the spiritual. A lot of my work deals with spiritual content. So these gates, they're more for estates, or for companies that want to have some privacy. See again, on this side of the gate where, where people have access, they come to the gate, they have to be approved before the gate will open up to let you in. So it is a security system, but it's also in a way your business card. It is your invitation to enter the domain of whatever is on the other side of the gate. In here is a hydraulic pump, because these are heavy, these may weigh a thousand pounds. So the hydraulic pump will push this gate open and uh, it's on special hinge, it's not the way I've welded them here, they're more, a little more complex. So no, where, they're from stainless steel, heavy stainless steel. And they're driven, they're triggered by an eye, you know, a sensor eye, and then in here is the hydraulic pump. So that's on the gates and I make these studies in order to get the proportions, to get the feeling and you know, some of them are very um, somewhat repetitious, like this one, or this one I have not made yet. Um, because this is kind of fun, it's just a single arm that opens and, and closes like that. And it's, but it's a total sculpture. But you know, here you have basically you have vertical, then you have horizontal, and you have vertical again. Now a sculpture like this is very easy to make 30 feet tall. There you can see, we look at that sketch and then we may make a model or the full, we make full size. So we make a lot of these shapes and it's almost like we've taken these shapes and tossed them in the air and then froze it. Um, large sculptures we prefer making in stainless steel and we make them out of marine stainless steel. 
Marine stainless steel is not affected by salt water or salt air. And but what the stainless, what the sun does on stainless steel, is it will travel. The sun will shine and it will travel here, and then you see bright lines. During the day, it slowly moves up or it moves down, depending how the curve is. So most of my work, I would say all of my work, is very uh, curvilinear, and these shapes are hollow. Otherwise, it would be too massive and too heavy. These are influenced by certain artists. When I make these drawings, I don't think of um, that I'm going to hang them on the wall. That just you know, I'm just like a child. I'm in my sandbox, which is my studio, and I make little roads and I drive up and down. But there's really no planning unless there is a commission. I just make a lot of doodles and drawings, and sometimes I make them more complex. Now. Most of the sculptures are six-sided. You have the four sides and the top and the bottom. So this is kind of a doodle. This is kind of a, a sketch, you know, an idea, a study. Um, this is a little portal. And the patina on here is just beautiful, I think. And you know, you can touch it because the oil from your fingers just make it more shiny. These gates weigh at least a thousand pounds. You see, it's very easy to push this gate open in the middle, but to push it from here takes it's maybe 50 times more power. So these hydraulic pumps are fantastic. So when you make it out of stainless steel, the maintenance is minimal. And again, these are all hollow. And by making a curve like there's a complex, a compounded curve, makes it very strong. So when the sun uh, shines on this, you know, you, this reflects very well, or at nighttime, it's very dramatic to have this lit. This is stainless steel under here. So it lasts forever, it's very strong, because we weld minimally in three locations. So you always get a triangular structure. Sometimes it's weld in six spots. But we're not counting on one or two spots, because if somebody were to pick it up with two welds, they could bend it and the whole sculpture is out of shape. But what is interesting, as a black sculpture, it is somewhat reductive. Stainless steel is reflective. You still get a beautiful light on here. You know, I, I find when I see this now, and it's so well displayed here, is with the light on it, you get these beautiful lines, you know, and it's almost like a, a piece of music.